Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of International Style Latin Dancing. This is Kirill and today we are exploring rumba. I will show you a very small and very compact rumba routine that will allow you to develop and get the real feeling of the hip action or the Cuban motion. Let's start from the pattern of the steps first before we talk about the details of the hip action. I intentionally have chosen kind of side actions, mainly lateral actions, because that's what helps our hips a little bit more. Going forward back, we'll probably do in the subsequent tutorials when we talk about again rumba, maybe some technical aspects, or maybe even some more advanced rumba routine. Okay? So the movements that we have here are the time step, spot churn side steps and cucarachas. That's it. Now, I'm gonna show you pattern very, very slowly without technique, and then you can follow, and then we're gonna add the details. Technically, don't even worry, don't even stress. You can mix and match all those movements depending on my, how much space you have, you've got, okay? So don't worry, don't stress out how many of each I'm doing. Try to follow me. If you can remember, awesome. If, if you cannot remember, doesn't really matter. It's all about the movement, not about the pattern. You can change it the way you want it. Okay, so follow me. I'm doing preparation step four one. I'm doing four times time step. Together, relax and rotate. Together, relax and rotate. And side step four one. I repeat this again. Two and uh, three and four one. Three and three and four one. Last one. Four and three and four one. And I'm moving to only one spot turn to get me kind of going to the other side. And spot, turn, forward, one, and it allows me to move left now. And I'm doing one side step, one bar of side steps. So two and three and four. That's it, done. Three cucarachas. Cucaracha one. Cucaracha two. Cucaracha three. That's it. And I'm doing side steps coming back to my right now. And two, one, three, and four, one. Only one time, and spot turn. And two, one, three, and four, one. And we start from the very beginning time step, but this time we started kind of towards the left side. Okay, do we have it? All right, let's talk about the main idea for our hip action, and we're gonna apply it on all the steps. So, our pendulum, or our Cuban motion, is about one hip going down, one hip going up. It's not about moving our hips from side to side, otherwise you're gonna be losing balance and not actually matching the music. So, we are transferring weight, which resides here, right under our spine. And when we move our weight, this hip is gonna be lower, this hip is gonna be higher, that's natural. Yes, that natural position, yes? When you wait in the grocery store, this is the way you wait. You don't wait this way. Yeah, so this is the position, and then when you transfer weight naturally, then the hip goes boom, right away there. Yes, again, the more we transfer the weight, we focus on just that pendulum, one hip down, one hip up, lower the heel, transfer weight, this hip down, this hip up, this is a reaction to it. In order to make it continuous, we rotate. So pendulum, rotation, Pendulum rotation. Again, the main idea that the hips are not going side to side, but the hips are going down and up. Rotate. Down and up. Rotate. Okay? Now, that's not very comfortable. That's not really possible when our legs are together. Yeah? So, what it means? It means we have to just bend one of the knees. Just like this. So, that's what drops this hip down, and our weight is residing here now on the standing leg. Now, we're going to rotate. Now again, we're gonna step straight, move the weight to this one, bend this knee, that's the release, and rotate it. 
And all we have to do now is just make sure that we match the music. So we're going to go two and three and two. Release, rotate. Ta. Release, rotate. Stop. Release, rotate. Stop. Release, rotate. The same idea. If you notice, I'm not trying to move my hips and losing balance. I'm just trying to stop and release. So this kind of movement here. Rotate. Stop. Release. Stop. Release. Uh, rotate. Step, release, rotate. That's it. Now we have to apply on every figure of our routine the same idea. Okay? Please follow me. All right, here's how we're gonna apply it on our steps. We start neutral. Because of this knee being bent, this hip is going down, this is go going up. We rotate and we go side step full one. And if you notice, we arrive, this hip is higher, this hip is lower, just because of the weight movement. We rotate and step, we release this knee, this hip goes down, this hip is up, we rotate. Step, both knees straight, this is down, this is up, we rotate and four one. So every time we step, one of the hips is gonna be going down, one is up, and two and three and four one. Couple more, two and three and four one, two and three and four one. Spot turn, same idea. And this hip is still up. Now, but then when I move, this is turning, this hip goes up, this is down. And three, and four, one. Up and down all the time. Side steps. Straight, release, rotate. Side, and four, one. Kukaracha, same idea. Step, this is the position. Now this goes down, this goes up. And three. And four, bend the knee. And two, and three, and four, release, rotate. Two, and three, and four, and one, and side, and three, and four, one, spot turn again, and two, and three, and four, one. And we start from the very beginning, and step, release, rotate, step, release, rotate, step, Release, rotate. That's the idea, that's the main idea for our routine. Hip goes down, hip goes up, and that's what enhances the movement. The worst thing can happen, people just walking straight. So do it slowly, but focus mainly on one is down, one is up. And here we go. That was very simple rumba routine that we try to use to develop our hip action. Please try to practice it. Please do it very, very slowly and do not worry about the pattern of the steps. Just focus on making sure that every time you step, one hip is down, one hip is up, and then you're rotating. That will give you much more weighted, much more stronger, much more heavier hip action. And that's what we are after, and that's what we're trying to match to the music that, that, that is playing. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to respond to them and elaborate in the following, more information in the following videos. Please subscribe it, like it, share it, and I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye now.